Hey guys, it's me Peyton, your friendly neighborhood wardrobe stylist, and happy Father's Day. I'm here today with my stepdad, and I'm gonna ask him some questions. He's not a normal stepdad, he's like a cool stepdad. And um, <laughs> this is my stepdad, TG. I hate saying stepdad, but when I said- It's that, okay. When I said that I had two dads, someone thought that I had two dads. Oh, okay. So, we, we don't want that. So. Um, so, you're a singer, and you've been a singer for a million years. Yeah. And you have some pretty amazing album covers from the 70s. So me being a lover of all things style in 70s, I thought I would review some of your outfits from your uh -oh. album covers. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. And rate them from best okay. to worst. All right. And um, I want to ask you some questions about what you were wearing. Okay. Okay? Sure. So we're going to start with this one, uh, Devil in the Bottle. It's got your big hit song on it. I don't know. So this... Tell me about tell me about this look. Well, this was my first album uh, back in the seventies, early seventies, and I th this album at the time leather jackets were kind of like really in short leather jackets mm -hmm. and big belt buckles. Do you still have so the belt buckle? Yeah. You could land a plane on it. Some yeah, you could. You you really could. Well, you you could use it for a garbage can lid. I know. <laughs> I think it's cool, and I think that's actually back in style now. I think that's something that Tobin would steal from you if he could. Yeah. All right, well that's that's the first album. And I think that look would work today. I think so, yeah. yeah. Anything um, works today. Yeah, so let me just, okay. Um, I gotta ask you a question about this before. Okay. And do you know that you'd end up with daughters when you shot this? No, I didn't. <laughs> Well, Do you know any of these women in real no, life? Okay. No, this album was shot by Dick Zimmerman, mm -hmm. who also shot the Thriller album cover for Michael Jackson. He it's was a like kind of world world renowned photographer in LA, and he picked all the people that were involved in the uh, in the shoot that day. That was one of the first albums that he did. So this is your pretty standard nice blue shirt. You know who yeah. made the shirt? Actually, I do. Who made that shirt? I remember it was Van Heusen. Oh, they're still around. Yeah, they're still around. So that's, yeah. yeah, that's, that could I pass I used to today. love that shirt. That could pass today. It photographs well. Um, let's see. So I have questions about this one. Uh, okay. So that's the front of it. But you're also the driver? Yeah, if you were able to roll the album out, we wanted to do something different. And a lot of people never caught the fact that- That you're the driver? That I was the guy on the back side there. Yeah. As well as the guy on the front side. This was kind of a takeoff on the movie with James Dean Giant, mm -hmm. where he was sitting in the back of a old convertible. And I always loved that movie and I always loved him as an actor. I would think that it'd be better if you were dressed as Elizabeth Taylor in Giant <laughs> on the background. Okay. I'd be here for that more. But you know, that's, that's pretty standard. Yeah. Do you know who made any of those clothes? Did you have no. someone dress you or did you pick all no, those No, I had a dresser. Okay. Yeah, we, we had a, a lady that would shop and bring everything in a, like- Like what a, I do. Like what you do. And it would have a rack of things and we would try several different things on the rack and then you take the best the up. Huh? You still have the hat. Yeah, I still have that hat. Like finally. Sure do. I'm not wearing polyester. Okay. <laughs> so this one has actually been, um, recreated this album cover has been recreated by several people mm -hmm. um i have so many questions about this album cover not 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 the outfit because the outfit is solid um so here's the back of the album cover so there's some women's shoes and there's some men's shoes um and then this so why are you wearing a belt around your knees what was the thought behind this well that was just um uh... Dick Zimmerman again shot this cover. He shot most all my album covers. Um, he just felt it would be cool to show the belt and the way we were laying there, you couldn't really see the belt with my arm hanging over my waist. So he just said, it's a cool belt. I want to show it in there. I love the conchos in the belt. I like and, these alligator uh, shoes. Those are pretty cool. <laughs> Wish you still had those. So that's that's how that came about was uh, through his direction. So you know the meme on Facebook is if this was the pose on your album cover, you knew that it was going to be a good record because it's this one and it's Thriller and it's the Lionel Richie record where he's 
yeah. laying down. So yeah. the outfit's not bad. You just don't know how to wear it. We were well. going for body language, I guess you might say on that. So. <laughs> okay, these are the last two, and these are some questionable ones. Um, okay. I have so many questions about okay. the day these were shot. Sure. Okay. Sure. There's a theme to this one. Um, you're sitting on an ice cube. A real block of ice. And you're wearing white pants. Yes. And my butt got very I was cold. about to ask you, um, were, really? these, were these grapes real? Yes, they were. Okay, well that's good. So yeah. real ice, real grapes. Going real on. ice, real grape, real cigar in my hand at the time because yeah. I used to smoke cigars years well, ago. Well, what about this white shirt? Do you know, or the stripy shirt, the nautical shirt? I don't know where that came from. It was probably just, again, the shopper probably brought that in for, because we were going for kind of a, a Caribbean kind of look, you know. Do you remember who your stylist was? No, I don't. I really don't remember. It was different ones at different times. Right. Yeah. So was the food on the bottom real? Yes. Wow. Everything was real in the cover. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you wear white pants since then, but you might be I haven't, worn, I haven't worn white pants since then. Okay, this is the last one. Okay. Um, this is the most 70s album cover. This is the back of the cover that I want to talk about. Here's the front of the cover. There's no clothes to talk about. No, not, not on this one. Nope. <coughs> this is his Jim Morrison look, I that guess. That traumatized you when you first saw it. Okay, side note, you guys. My mom's in the background. Um... I was nine when my mom started dating TG, so he's been around for forever. forever. But um, she told me about him. This was the photo she showed me of who my new stepdad was going to be, and um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I was poor. We couldn't afford clothing, so you could afford a gold medallion. <sighs> well, no, what it what. <laughs> I don't know what, again, Dick Zimmerman shot that cover to in L.A. They and couldn't afford the stylist's rate. Yeah, so we had was. to, we couldn't, she didn't bring anything that day to wear, so I just went shirtless. But the back of this, you guys, okay. So, um, polyester leisure suit with rhinestones, big collar, yeah. gold medallion and some chest hair, but then the pocket watch to match the gold medallion and the pinky rings, so... Um, well, that's back when. I'm not mad about it. Jewelry I'm just and everything had the balance, I guess. Okay, so that makes what, sense that you're balancing the pocket watch with the medallion. Yeah. Do you have yeah. any of those pinky rings still? Yeah. You I do? Think, I think so, yeah. I don't know where they are. I don't want to wear them. I think. You look back. like you're going to sell a car to the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> like, I. <laughs> I'd buy the Say car. hello to my little friend. I mean, I, it was the shirt, basically. I mean, that was the style back then. But yeah. it's rhinestone and the shirt. I mean, yeah. you're a maximalist. That's back before <laughs> I am. That's back before uh, Manuel mm -hmm. and Nudie yeah. came into play. Well, Manuel was probably doing stuff back then, but I don't know. We were trying to add a little, a little pizzazz to the cover. It looks like you added a little bedazzle. Yeah, for all bit. the clothes that you're not wearing on the front, you made up for it with <laughs> oh, the, the clothes on the back. <laughs> so would you wear any of these outfits sure. ever again? Okay, which sure. one would you wear again? I would probably wear the vest on the... Uh, on this one? Yeah, I would probably wear that vest? shirt and vest and jeans. Okay, I like yeah. that. Um, you're not allowed. I would definitely wear that shirt again. That was my favorite shirt, that one was. I wonder mm -hmm. why. And that one's too old. I wouldn't wear anything in that. Maybe a blue uh, denim shirt I would still wear. Tobin will wear that. Okay. You can have that one. Well, you guys, <laughs> hope that explained a little bit about my childhood. <laughs> and uh, poor, poor child. <laughs> happy Father's Day. <laughs> Bye. And.